In this video, I will talk about bitrate for CCTV. If you want to learn more, just keep watching. Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Claudemir Martins. In this video, I will talk about bitrate for IP cameras, okay? But before we continue, just make sure you are subscribed to the channel. If you are not, just hit the button below, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and also leave your comments, okay? Let's go here to my computer. I can show you a presentation. I have here a presentation for bitrate for CCTV for IP cameras, DVRs and VR, doesn't matter, right? Let me show here first a diagram so you can better understand what I wanted to explain to you guys. So here I have cameras, those are analog cameras connected to a DVR. Here I have my DVR with the monitor. Here I have a router so I can connect from the DVR to a router so I can send my video through the network. And here I have a computer to display the image that's coming from my DVR. So the cameras are converted from analog to IP and then pass to the router and I can show the image here on my computer. I can do the same, uh, sending the image to the internet, right? And from the internet, I can receive the image on the other side. Here I have a router and a laptop. So the image leaves the DVR, comes to the router, goes to the internet, another router here in my office, and then comes to this laptop, okay? So the idea is that you need to understand better bitrate for CCTV because when you're using uh, something locally, use less bitrate, okay? When you're using something remotely, you need to use more bitrate, more bandwidth, okay? So back here to the diagram, I can see that I have the path number one that comes from the DVR, pass through the router and come to my computer. This is a local path, right? I have a local connection here. And then I have the path number two that I come here from the DVR to my router and I come to internet and arrive to the laptop. So in this path number two, I'm gonna use this link with internet. When you buy a link for internet, you have like a smaller bandwidth, right? You use less, you have less bandwidth to use there comparing to your local network. So that's why you have to do different configuration, right? To record locally, for example, in your network, you can have like better quality and you can reduce reduce the quality a little bit to send through the internet okay so back here to the diagram let's see something else we are talking here about bits what is living your dvr your ip camera any vr doesn't matter are bits bits are zeros and ones the sequence of zero and ones in the end of the day your image is converted to bits you don't need to understand a lot about bits you just need to know that your image is converted from uh, the video is converted to bits and then bits goes through the network all right so a bit will be a zero or one and a bit uh, you can also use this bits per second to uh, measure the speed of your bits moving in the network right so how many bits per second you have in your network let's do a, a analogy here with some things you see during the day. Let's say you have some boxes, you have one box you are throwing to somebody, so you have one box per second, one BPS. You are like throwing box to somebody, like a one box per second, right? If you start like throwing box uh, quickly, like two box per second, right? You have two BPSs, two box per second, and three BPSs and 10 BPSs, and you keep like moving faster, you have more BPSs. The same is, uh, is the same with your network. The difference is that you're moving zeros and one moving bits, okay? So uh, bits, you can represent like this uh, with a lowercase b. Don't represent bits like with uppercase b. Sometimes you, you find this uh, in some documentation, you find this on the internet, it's not the most accurate way to represent bits, right? Neither like this, neither like this, right? It's better represented here, like, like this one with lowercase b, kbps with lowercase b also, and megabps with lowercase b. Here an example of a camera, when you buy a camera, the camera has, here's uh, the lens, here's a, a box camera, here you can connect your UTP cable, and then you have also a software, depending on the manufacturer, he gives you a software. Just like this one, this software is showing the image here. I'm connected to the camera, showing the image here. Here it's showing a lot of information, technical information, right? 
But the in interesting thing for us is just right here, 30 frames per second. You can see here, 30 frames per second. So the camera is like capturing 30 images per second, right? Capturing more images, you have better quality. So you can see the bandwidth here is using 3015 kbps, kbits per second, right? And then when you change to 15 frames per second, you're, le you're capturing less image per second, you drop down to 1593 kbps. That's the idea then, right? When you start like capturing less images per second, you use less bandwidth. Then you have to configure that in your camera or in your DVR or in your NVR, okay? Another example here, 10 frames per second, again, drops down to 10, 1086 kbps, okay? This is another example. I keep the 30 frames per second, but I have a different resolution now. Instead of two megapixel, I uh, use one megapixel resolution, right? Resolution is the size of your image, right? I, I'm moving from two megapixel, a high resolution to one megapixel and keeping the 30 frames per second. But now I have just 1476 kbps, dropping down the resolution, but keeping the frame rate. I also have different bits per second here. So the idea is that when you have higher resolution, you have higher bit rate. When you have higher frames per second, you have higher bit rate also. And higher compression, lower bit rate. Compression is when you compress your image, right? You generate the image, you can compress it, use some mathematical algorithm, just like those one, MJPEG, that's a wood one, MPEG-4, also a wood one. Nowadays, people use more A264, A264+, plus, A265, and A265+. Plus. You can compress better using those last ones, okay? So here is an example when you have image in your cell phone. Your cell phone is small, right? So you don't need to send a lot of resolution. You, you don't need a lot of quality to show the image in your cell phone. So the idea is that locally, you can like record with higher resolution, with higher frame rate, and then remotely you can send to your cell phone like the image more compressed with less quality, less resolution, less frame rate, less everything, right? So you use less bandwidth. Because in your cell phone, you have different sizes, right? You have iPhones, for example, with different sizes here, right? But the screen is not that big. So the idea is that you can configure your camera like this, for example, with the resolution 640 by 360, 10 frames per second, compression level 15. You go to your camera, you configure your camera like this, and you see that you have 10 frames per second here, and you see everything else. You go to your camera to configure that, and then you have 188 kbps okay so you are compressing a lot you're using less resolution less frame rate and you have better bit rate in the end of the day so that's the idea right you need to understand a little bit better about bit rate so you can configure in your camera or your device so you have less bandwidth going through your cell phone going through internet right so guys that's a little bit of theory in another video you are going to see something more practical practical okay but this that's all for today i hope that helps you okay and don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit the thumbs up and leave your comments okay see you in the next video bye